up? What's up? Welcome to another episode, not just another episode of BME Presents, but the final episode of this season. I'm your host, Shannon GJ. This is going to be jam-packed, so we can't fit it all in this episode. This will be a two-part episode, so you got to watch tonight and then make sure you come back next weekend so you can see the final portion of this two-part finale. This season has been awesome. Over 30 guests, in-studio performances, independent artists, national artists. We've added comedy. We've added entertainment. We've added fashion. And we've just tried to make it all good for you. And of course, we extended to what? Alabama and Tennessee and Georgia. So we appreciate all the love you continue to show us. In this episode, the first portion, we're going to sit down with the writer and producer of New Invasion Films, my boy Tony B, who's always behind the camera making things happen. I'm gonna interview him and I can't wait because he's always back there. We never had an interview opportunity and also the cast and crew, some of the cast of the film Cutting Heads that'll be out real soon, all right? Also, we have an artist, April Nicole, who will be here in the studio for an interview and an in-studio performance. And last but not least, Alabama, y'all showed us love much, much love at the Alabama Music Awards. So thank you. And you'll see some some footage from there. So don't go anywhere. We got a lot to stick in this 30 minutes. 30 minutes of BME Presents starts right now. BME Presents is sponsored by Tranquility Manor Residential Care Services. Caring, compassionate, professional. For more information, call 757 405 one five two zero. Again, that's seven five seven four zero five one five two zero. Welcome, welcome to my living room. They say save the best for last, so we'll see. You got a lot of stuff to be doing over here. The last in studio performance and on the couch interview of the season. Welcome, April Nicole. <laughs> Thank you. What's up, pretty girl? I'm doing fine. I'm just, you know, out here trying to make sure that everybody knows who April Nicole is and get my music out. Who's April Nicole? April Nicole is just, she's a girl from Greenville, North Carolina. She, um, she's a country girl. Mm -hmm. uh, she's been singing all her life. Um, I'm just, you know, basically I'm, I'm very talented. I want to be one of those big stars, not the, you know, I just want to, I don't want to be known, I want to, you know, change the music game, I want to put it back to where it used to be. I feel like R&B is in the way it used to be, so I agree. That's what I'm trying to do. And let me tell you, I heard the track right away, and that was the first thing I said to your brother, shout out to your brothers in the studio audience <laughs> right here. Um, I was like, he's giving me an old school vibe, and what I said was, when R&B was good, so you literally just took the words out of my mouth. No offense to all those arms, because there are some good army it artists is, now, it but it's just, it's just it's changed a lot. Yeah, it has changed. So if you could change the music industry, get it back to what it was, what what would you say your music is, is, is all about? Is it about love, experiences? What is it? It's basically the feeling? about experiences. Everything that I've been through, um, each song tells you, like, it gives you a message, or, you know, I've learned a lesson or something, like, some kind of good income come, well, output comes out of that song. So I'm just like, you know, each song is something that, you know, really comes from my heart and it's truthful. So it's stuff that you can relate to. What well, I'm sure people will love it. Because people mm -hmm. love, you know, stuff that is real, yeah. right? Everything that I sing is real. That's mostly everything. Just about. Yeah. Mostly everything. I mean, yeah. some stuff you got to tweak a little you bit. You got to like, you know, oh, okay, I did this. Of I'm course. Like, oh, let me think uh, if I was in this situation, right. you know. But most of them, like when you hear those love songs, yeah, those are the ones that's just like, okay, these are baby some making real music, stuff. some baby making <laughs> music, some real experiences, some heartbreak times, you know, just everything basically that a woman goes through. What do you enjoy most, being in the studio or doing a live performance? Mm, I would say, I say both. I, I love like making a new record because I feel like I'm creating this, it's something new that's coming you know, that I'm about to share with everybody else and it's just something that is very, you know, sacred to me. Whenever I start making a song, each song is like very important. Each song has its own its own personality. Just like everything about that song is just 
it's going to take you to that that place of that song, and you're going to be like, you know, like Dad, I really, you know, I really can feel what she's saying. Like this, this just me. She got, I got this. She this got song me. is just like, ooh, right. you know, like each song, and it, it's just like that with like everything. I want my album to be like that. Just you put the song in, put the the CD in, and let the first song play, and it just it goes all the way through. No skip buttons, nothing. Just let the I love those out. albums. When I find mm -hmm. albums like that, you don't understand. I play them until the artist is hoarse, okay? <laughs> I'm like, I'm so sorry, but I'm going to play you. Skipping him. No, seriously. No, so I can't wait. So you're going to be performing in the studio today, okay. Run Away. But what is your album going to be like? When are you going to be bringing it out? The album is supposed to be set to come out at the end of this year. Okay. Um, Run Away is actually my first like single off of the album. Great. This is the one that, you know, we're just trying to push and just get it out there so people can hear it because it introduces you to the world. It's introducing April Nicole and like what I'm about Great. to the world. So. Well, I'm happy to have you on the show. <laughs> Let people know where to find you. All right. Well, um, my name is April Nicole. Um, if you want to look me up, you can look me up on Facebook as April Nicole. Um, Twitter is going to be just April Nicole again. Um, Facebook, I, yeah, Facebook, I said, my bad. Um, it's all good. You said you IG. I got two IG pages. It's gonna be my fan page. It's um, underscore um, a singer. Um, and it's uh, the other one is just the real April Nicole. And you can just look me up on Reverb as well and just type in April Nicole. Download the songs. And get just, at me. You know, get at me and hit me up. You know, I do. I respond to my fans. I talk. I talk back. I'm not one of those people that don't talk. Back. That's a good thing. I love that. <laughs> well, y'all don't go anywhere because April Nicole is going to show us how she can get into it <laughs> with her music right here. We're bringing some R&B to b and Presents. So keep it locked. And thank you, baby, for joining us. You're welcome. Yeah, I'm glad y'all came. Well, that you allowed me to come on the show. Don't say allow. We try to get everything here. So that means if you did, you got some good talent. So that's good. Thank you. Thank you. All right, y'all stick around. You don't know what to do because we're gonna be off the air. Oh wait, no we're not. We're not gonna be off the air, but you're gonna be missing some new episodes until October 3rd. What you do is you stay with us on social media. Follow BME Presents at Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and of course, check us out on YouTube, all right? And follow your girl at The Real Shannon GJ on Instagram and at Shannon GJ on Twitter. Do it now.
Yo, what's up? It's your man Tony Brown with BME Presents. We're down here in downtown Birmingham, Alabama for the first annual Alabama Music Awards. I got my sweat rag because it's a whole different kind of hat down in Alabama, baby. They got that civil rights kind of hat. But we down here with my man, YP the Golden Boy, BME recording artist, YP the Golden Boy. What's good, baby boy? What's up, what's up? This is your third performance outside of the state of Virginia, huh? Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, hey, it's crazy out here, man. I'm, I'm feeling hot as... Wipe them down, wipe them down. <laughs> yeah, we about to go inside, meet some of the other performers. We're going to interview the nominees and the, the honorees and the award winners and bring you some live coverage from the Alabama Music Awards. Don't go nowhere. Keep your station locked right here. We'll be right back. Yo, it's Tony Brown live here at the Alabama Music Awards here with two-time award winner. These boys is hot, the freshman, Alabama's hottest boy. Introduce yourself, fellas. Hey, it's your boy D. It's your boy Brandon. What's up? It's your boy CJ, and we are Damn Freshman. Yeah, yeah, I like y'all, man. I, I appreciated y'all performance, y'all style. Look, they fresh, they fresh, man. They bring a new flair to hip hop, man. Tell me something about the Alabama music scene. Our show is based in Virginia. Alabama is our newest market out of the seven states that we're in. But well, tell me something about the Alabama music scene. What's going on down here? What well, almost been crazy is like it's a lot of artists that's been, you know, grinding hard and they've been slept on. So what we trying to do is we trying to bring everything together so we can put Alabama on the map where it deserves to be. Because a lot of people been sleeping on us, so that's why we here. That's what it is, man. I really appreciated these guys' performances and we're gonna spread it. We're gonna show you their video. What's the video we're gonna pop for you? Well um go search them freshmen crush. And um, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, DM underscore freshman. Every Shout time. out to um, DM E percents, you already know. Shout out to y'all, man. Y'all showing us love, man. Shout out to the whole state, man. We've been rocking forever, so you know we're gonna turn up anyway. That's what it is. VA North Carolina, Alabama, South Carolina, Kentucky, and Tennessee. It's them freshmen. Look out for them, baby.
Yo, it's your man Tony Brown with BME Presents. We're back at the Alabama Music Awards with the beautiful Miss Lamingo Cafe. That clip you just saw, Jennifer Hudson, that was my girl. And for those that don't know, me and Lamingo go way back, back into like 1996, Future Recording Studios, Teddy Riley. She was one of Teddy's artists. I was one of his managers, and here we are now. So look, Lamingo, you got a new song out. It's doing well overseas. Mm -hmm. Tell us about it, how we can find it. Uh, two. One is called Looking Back at Love with Kijan. Um, it's charting, really doing really well now. And Need Love is a well, my debut album, um, single, um, off of Quiet Flower Records, mm -hmm. my label. So I'm the first on my label. I have four other artists to come. So it's going to be pretty big. Okay, how could they... For me... How can you, I hope how you can enjoy view, it. How can our viewers um, find your song? Um, Laminga, you could just just um, look on iTunes for um, just just or Google Laminga. You'll, you'll see quite a few things. Um, iTunes, it's on over th over 200 retail stores. Um, a lot of commercials, soundtrack stuff, and the new singles. That's great. That's great. That's Virginia, okay. North Carolina, South Carolina, y'all support. Show some support. We making artists global. We okay. taking them worldwide. BME presents. We'll be back after this. Hey, 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 for the me all gonna get a <laughs> Yo, it's Tony Brown. I'm here at the first annual Alabama Music Award here at this beautiful Alabama Jazz Museum. And I'm here with my man, Jay Simon. Now, let me tell you something. I saw him walk up before the show with his blazer on, looking good. I thought he was going to come in here and do some R&B. <laughs> my man ripped the stage, stomped it down, and tell him where they can find your music at, bro. We're going to show a clip of you. We already showed a clip of your performance. Okay. Tell them where they can that? find your music. Yo, man, just go to Official J. Simon, man. You can go to OfficialJSimon.com. You can go to any social media outlet, you know, uh, Instagram, YouTube. Go to Official J. Simon. That's O-F-F-I-C-I-A-L-J-S-I-M-O-N. Holla at your boy, man. Coming all the way from Mobile, Alabama, man. It's a blessing to be here. Uh, amongst so many talent, man, and so much, you know, love that's going on, man. And it's a, it's a big beginning, man, not just for, you know, our city, but our state, man. Yo, it's your man, Tony Brown, and we're still here at the Alabama Music Awards, the 2015 first annual Alabama Music Awards. Standing here, Mr. 251, Mr. Mobile himself. What's up, brother? 
going on, bro? You see all these trophies you got representing your city. Tell me a little bit about the music scene in Birmingham. I mean, in Mobile. Yo, man, it's your boy J45, Mr. Key to the City, Everything Pretty, the host of the Gulf Coast, man. We racked up here in Mobile, man. We came up to Birmingham. This ain't even half of the wars we taking home, man. Uh, I was here to accept the award because I represent the city. Uh, congratulations to all the winners, man, down there in the poor city of Mobile, Alabama. Pritchard, Alabama, stand up. Stand up, A.B. Stand up, Alabama. You ready, YP? the 2015 Alabama Music Awards. 11 hour drive from Virginia to Alabama, but nah, 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 nah. It was worth it. I'm here with the beautiful host of the Alabama Music Award, Miss Nana. Came all the way from Miami, Lady Nana 100. What's good with you? We good, we good. You did a great job hosting the show. Um, tell, tell me about your station you got going on in, in Miami. It's called Southern Muscle Radio. I'm the CEO of the Blog Talk Radio Station. Queen Plug Radio is Live 365, and you get your BDS spins on Queen Plug Radio. And I own Southern Muscle Radio, which is one million hits. Shout out to DJ J3, who's the founder. And also, we got Queen Plug Media, which is my, my LLC. Y'all can check that out. And I have 177 Empire, which is my publishing company. What's popping in Miami? Miami, it's a lot of things popping. Of course, you have many record labels. You have Rick Ross which is kind of hard for a lot of artists to be able to get out there and get their name out there because we have Rick Ross, we got Young Breed, we got Gunplay, we got, you know, E-Class taking over Po' Boy and so many different record companies out there and a lot of promotion, it's a lot of competition. So if you're going to stand out, you're going to stand out. Miami is hardcore, it's going to really put you where you need to be. So you got to be able to take that heat. If you can't take the heat, get your behind out the kitchen. Uh, let me ask you this question. What kind of, is there any kind of unity in Miami amongst the independent artists? Not the major label artists that's already out, but the independent artists that's kind of like trying to struggle and get themselves out. Do they, is it a support system in Miami? There ain't no support system in Miami. You on your own. You by yourself. Ain't nobody trying to help you. Ain't nobody trying to support you. Even your friends think if you get up there, then you're going to be way past them. That's the mentality in Miami. If I put you there, then you're going to go past me. You ain't going to think about me no more. So it's like every man for them 
themselves, but that's the way it should be. You know, you got to worry about you, support you. You got to get your, you know, the main supporters that's going to be able to support you and help you the right way instead of hating. So Miami is a real tough spot to be able to branch your music out. If you're from Miami, it's going to be extra harder. When you come from Miami, it's going to be a little bit easier. There you go. I always tell you, artists don't support other artists. Fans support artists. So get your fans up, make some good music, earn yourself some fans, and that's where your support comes in. It's Tony Brown, Miss Nana, BME Presents. Thank you for having me, Queen Plug Media, Lady Nana. Anytime, anytime. We out. Bama, I told you, it's a whole different kind of heat down here. I had to break out my shirt. But I'm standing here right now with Universal Records recording artist Big Jig out of Atlanta. What's up, baby boy? What's up, man? What's good with y'all, man? Salute to BME, man. Salute to y'all. Yeah, man. Tell me what's, what you got going on with Universal. What's, what's popping with you? Well, right now, man, I got the new single out, man. Jan and Juice, man. I remade Snoop Dogg record, man. The video is on MTV Jams and World Star right now as we speak. That's what's up. That's what's up. How long you been with Universal? I've been with them actually three years, but I've been in the business 13 years. Okay, okay. You said you told me earlier before we got on camera, you got two situations. Yeah. You got a label and yourself as an artist. Yeah, my label go to man music group, man, and me as an artist, big jig as well. So we know Atlanta is like famous and popping for the music scene, man. What's the independent scene down there looking like? I mean, right now, man, a lot of artists is getting smarter and wiser, man, and understanding that you know being an indie is the way to go. You know, call call your own shots, be your own boss. That's what it is. Um, tell people how they can find your music, bro. I mean, you can find me um, on Twitter at B-I-G-G underscore J-I-G-G, on Instagram at B-I-G-G underscore J-I-G-G, and on Facebook, the same thing, man. My website, BigJig.com, all that good stuff. I used to ride to that gin and juice, so I'm definitely going to check that out. Y'all make sure you check that video out. BME Presents, we going back to the studio. We coming back to Virginia. It's hot in Alabama. Let's go. Yeah. All right, this episode has come to a close, but you can see us whenever you want to on YouTube. Of course, we're here every Saturday, even though next weekend is the last episode of this season. And of course, follow us on social media. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram at BME Presents. And of course, follow your girl at The Real Shannon GJ on Instagram and at Shannon GJ on Twitter. Now, thank you to all of those who continue to watch us week after week. Thank you to the cast and crew of Cutting Heads, the new film by Invasion Films, to my boy Tony Brown, and to April Nicole, and to Alabama for showing us so much love at the Alabama Music Awards. Y'all keep watching. I'll see you next week. Love ya. This has been a Battle Music and Entertainment Production.